Hello, Sandy Graham. I moved into the Coral Bungalows because it includes a swimming pool. Uh, I was in uh, black and white, but this is a pretty nice swimming pool. This is actually in the morning, so maybe the question is whether it has probably sun. Not all swimming pools have sun all day long, but it's you know probably okay because a lot of people don't really want the sun. So this is uh, maybe one of the better swimming pools for. Uh, um, Hello, Sandy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I'm in uh, Koh Phangan, Thailand, on the beach called Hat Rin Sunset. I'm at the Coral Bungalows. Uh, I just got a room for 200 baht. That's six dollars and forty-nine cents. It's 2012. I'm going to show you the room just to prove to you that you can get cheap rooms. Okay, I'd like to do this before I mess them up. There was a table and a chair here, and uh, this is a private bungalow for me. It's got a little light outside. Okay, this one, for some reason, has two beds. But what I do like about it, it does kind of have a table that I, I took the chair from outside. It's got two beds. I don't know why, but uh, it's got adequate cross-flow ventilation. I mean, this is a really big deal in rooms, this two, two screens. They've got screens in the window. I brought that table in from outside. And, uh, hey, it's got a picture. It's got a bathroom included with says hot water. If there is a problem, they really uh, beat me up on the... Uh, it's 200 baht a day, but they really wanted my passport as like a security deposit. And they went through the whole room checking it down. Now, it doesn't really have Wi-Fi here, but... Uh, I have a USB wireless chip, which is from AIS, and it does work well, and it's cost, I think, uh, roughly, say, 70 baht a day. So that allows me to be anywhere I want. But it's got a front window, two side windows, complete bungalow, lots of ventilation, one fan in the ceiling. That's not so good because it blows down in my eyes and dries them out. But coral bungalows in Copenhagen. Welcome to Thailand.